Vermintide 2's grudge marks update gave us fun attributes for tough monsters and made fighting them interesting and exciting. One of the more unique attributes is the Illusionist attribute. But why is it that sometimes grudge mark monsters with the Illusionist attribute are a walk in the park and sometimes they give us waking nightmares? Illusionist monsters are so easy. Oh my god, Illusionist monsters are so damn hard! The wide range in difficulty of Illusionist monsters comes not from the difficulty levels we play on, but from the mere addition of more attributes besides Illusionist. A simple one attribute Illusionist grudge marked monster doesn't pose much of a threat. Besides the real monster itself, the illusions are easily disposed of as long as you aren't careless. If you play mindlessly, you might end up dying like we did in this clip. Shoot, I'm down. What? You're down, dwarf's down, we're all dead. If you don't let the illusions overwhelm you, most likely you'll be fine. The illusions are all very weak after all. They do a pitiful 10% of the original monster's damage and only have 5% of the original's health. Here's a clip of my partner Jay Turtle and I smashing through Breathseer Charhai, a storm fiend with the illusionist attribute, in about 20 seconds. Oh my goodness! Ooh, which one's real? Oh, the one right here, right here. Okay, let me take him, let me take him. Oh my goodness. Oh, you knocked me away so far. This one's the real one? Wait, where'd he go? Why is there more here? Well ah, uh, the poltergeist! Spill spirit! Quick, quick, somebody Dude. save me! No, there's more illusionists! Wait, so what? They don't die after the main one that guy dies? How's that fair? Yo, if your main person <laughs> dies, you die too. You die with it, okay? This is an <laughs> FYI. <laughs> It starts getting interesting once you face off with an illusionist monster with more than just the illusionist attribute. Some monsters will have two attributes. The fight might need a bit more of your concentration since the illusions take on the original monster's attribute. Thankfully, the illusions can't create copies of themselves, or we would have an insane army of shadow clones to fight against. When the three attribute illusionist monsters start showing up, you know you've hit the big leagues. These things can be absolute monstrosities. Even though the illusions are much weaker than the original, when they have really tough attributes applied to them, the fights can turn ugly real quick. That was the case when we were facing off against Magnus the Shunned, a tough chaos spawn monster, which had vampiric and rampart attributes in addition to illusionist. This means it was leeching health with every attack, and gunshots and bombs were worthless. Here are a few highlights of how that fight went. In front of us? Yeah. Is that in front of us? Maybe. I can't Shoot. tell which one is which, man. I don't know, one of them's an illusion. Let go of me! You... You rude person! You rude person! How dare you grab me! Whatever, rude. let's just... Back up, back up! What, what? There's illusion everywhere! I'm keeping the real one busy. Flew. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six chaos warriors right here, killing me. And you just fell off the ledge too. We fought really hard, struggling to get back up after getting down several times. But in the end, Magnus proved too much for us, and we failed the run. After having invested a full hour into the run, it sure doesn't feel good to have lost. This was probably winnable if we were better gamers, but anyways. Getting lucky can make a tough fight far easier. For example, during one run, a three attribute illusionist minotaur called Dark Eye the Brute showed up in the final arena. While our bull rushing friend Dark Eye was just as tough as Magnus, our luck with boons was phenomenal. J Turtle ended up getting Manan's Tempest, a boon that triggers lightning that chains through five enemies. That one boon helped us tremendously in thinning out the horde of minions so we could put more of our focus on fighting against Dark Eye. Here are a few juicy shots of our fight. Oh. What huh? the heck? Uh oh. Oh, uh, shoot. What is happening? Shoot. Um, is our fire alarm is going off. Oh wait, no. The fire alarm's gone now, right? Yeah. Let's go, let's go. Okay, we gotta go fight this guy before he keeps healing. Oh my god. Wait, oh, where he dropped is he? down. He dropped down. Where is wait, no, he didn't drop down. Am I holding the torch right now? I don't get where he is. Like, oh, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. I know, wait, it was oh so god. confusing. Wait, oh, there's another one. No, that was fake, that's fake, that's fake. The main thing is that illusionist monsters make a horde of enemies even more terrifying. 
because they basically become a mini horde of monsters. Getting surrounded by four minotaurs can feel pretty terrifying on its own, let alone with a tide of other beasties surrounding you. Basically, what I'm saying is that if you're lucky, Chaos Waste and the new Grudgemark monsters can be a really fun time. But if your luck runs out, all I can say is I hope you're really darn good at playing Vermintide 2. What? Oh my god, this whole ambush horde! If you want to see more exciting Chaos Waste gameplay where we take on some pretty intense Grudgemark monsters, just click on this video here. A few of the clips in this very video came from there. I know you want to click on it. I played with my partner Jay Turtle and we had so much fun, so I know you'll have fun watching. Go on, click it, and remember to like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.